if I needed to flush my device because I observed that the urine was particularly cloudy and we needed to give the patient a flush and basically we would start off with a saline flush if the amount of sediment was not excessive however if you've got excessive sediment um, you could look at the different OptiFlow products that they have they've got the one that's actually for slightly stronger sediment more debris um, quite a lot of um, bits in the urine so you could always look to see which one is indicated for your patient mine is only slightly concentrated with minimum debris but i feel my patient needs a flush at this point in time so i'm just going to remove that remove the clamp release my secure grip Placing the catheter bag on the floor again. Clamping at the top because I don't want it to leak. Removing my leg bag. Making sure to minimize my contact with key parts. Inserting my flush. And just using that pulsatile action gently, moving my clamp and introducing the contents of the flush. So that I get the full 15 mils in and then just let it gently flow back into the bottle. So ideally, what you put in, you need to see come out. So once I get back my 50 mils, which I believe I've achieved now, I'm happy that's an adequate flush and hopefully I should start to see less sediment with this. I will clamp the top again, remove and reconnect. And that's how I would flush the catheter if I needed to flush or give the patient a flush to clear any debris or sediment.